And this morning on Today Investigates, the new twist on an old crime. Identity thieves now targeting babies. NBC's Jeff Ross is here with information that parents really need to know. Jeff, good morning. Yeah, this is an important one, Ann. Good morning to you. I know your kids are in high school now, and so they're a little older for this. But for a lot of us younger parents, the question you have to ask yourself, when was the last time you checked your child's credit report? I know I haven't. I have two little girls. And the crooks know it. Now they're so advanced, they can actually steal your baby's social security number before they're even born, racking up millions in death. This morning, we track down the alleged thieves and show you exactly how they do it. What's funny? Egan is only two years old, but already owes thousands in credit card debt and has declared bankruptcy. You think this must be a joke, and then you realize, no, this is actually incredibly serious. Nine-year-old Riley is in default on utility bills. Her social was stolen 11 years before she was even born. As a mother, I was shocked and angry and violated. Katie was only three years old when Crook stole her identity. Now, as a teenager, her credit report shows over $750,000 in debt, all at the hands of ID thieves. A scary thought for a young girl. I think that because it is illegal, like they should be in jail. But they're not. In fact, we found two men using her identity, living free. How did you get her social security number? I don't know. You don't want to talk? This guy works at an auto body shop just miles from Katie's house. And we tracked another one. According to the credit bureau, you're an identity thief. Working at a local 99 cent store, a leading credit bureau says, both these men stole Katie's social security number to take out mortgages and auto loans. It's not fair. That they're still out there. Mm-hmm. Our Today investigation discovered thousands of young victims nationwide. Each pink dot represents a suspect that we've been able to positively identify their location. Jamie May is chief investigator with All Clear ID, a leading security firm. Why are babies' identities in particular so attractive to these thieves? It's a blank check for these criminals. The child doesn't realize that they have a problem until they start using their credit. And that may not happen until your child is 18, applying for their first loan or credit card, giving thieves free reign with their identities for years. Never in my wildest dreams had I thought to run a credit check on my son, and what parent would run a credit check on their child who's in diapers, who's crawling? Stealing their socials is easier than you think. That number is actually a code. The first three digits stand for the state it was issued in. The last six digits stand for the approximate date it was issued, a clue to the person's birthday. Now, using simple software, crooks can actually predict kids' numbers, meaning when your newborn gets their number at the hospital, it may already be stolen, which is exactly what happened to Riley. Her mom discovered it years later by chance on a family credit check. The government gave me a bum number that obviously they hadn't cleared. It's a financial birth defect, and and the parents aren't warned. And in many cases, police don't have the time or resources to catch these crooks, leaving parents like Katie's dad out in the cold. In a nutshell, what have the police done for you? Nothing. It's almost like they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to be bothered, but we found two of the suspects. Pretty easily. Hey, how are you? In fact, we found Manuel Contreras in Arizona in just two days. Jeff Rawson from NBC News. According to the credit bureau, you've been using a young girl's social security number and getting home loans, racking up nearly half a million dollars in debt. How do you respond to that? A million dollars. Half a million dollars. Have you been using a young girl's social security number and passing it off as your own? I don't know. I don't understand. So we brought in our translator. You took out a home loan with this young girl social security number in 2003 for $107,000, 2006 for $153,000, also in 2006 for $238,000. That's against the law. I know that right now. You are arrested for it? Okay, go ahead. I I know. I'm not a police officer. I'm just trying to figure out why you did this. Why I don't see no cops? That's a good question. I don't know why you haven't been arrested. That same day, we surprised another suspected thief. Hi, Jeff Rawson from NBC News. Mario Salinas, working in his store parking lot, wrangling grocery carts. The credit bureau says, using Katie Social, he's racked up over 35 grand in debt. Have you ever used the social security? No, no, no. 
I've never used it. According to the credit bureau, you have, and you've Segun, taken out several auto loans. Segundo os buros de crédito, yeah. usted ha sacado esos dos préstamos no, no, no. utilizando ese número. No, no, no. There's a young girl whose credit could have been ruined because Está of this. Está Do you have anything to say to her? I don't know. You don't know. But authorities know a flaw in the credit system lets them get away with it. When someone applies for, say, a loan, usually the bank only checks that the social security number has a good credit history. Believe it or not, most banks don't check whether that number was assigned to that name because the government charges a fee to do that, and most banks don't want to pay. So thieves can use a child's identity over and over again. That seems ridiculous. The system definitely has a gap. And for parents, cleaning up the mess can take years and haunt your child, ruining their credit as adults. Do you want to say anything to this young girl's family? You don't want to say anything to them? Are you going to stop using this young girl's social security number? I talk to my lawyer first. I call you, I talk to you every time, okay? Okay, well, I'll wait for your call. I call you. We're still waiting. He's still out there. He's free. Burns me up. He can walk around living on my child's social and nothing's being done about it. But there is something you can do about it, a credit check for your kids. It will tell you if anyone else is using their identity. For more information about how to get a free credit check right now for you and your entire family, all you have to do is go to our website, today.com. All the information is right there for you. By the way, the government is trying to make it tougher for thieves. Beginning next month, new social security numbers will be more randomized, making it nearly impossible, Anne, for crooks to predict them, but still thousands if not tens of thousands of cases out there right well, now. Well, as long as it's going to take to close this gap, yeah. what can parents do if they suspect their children's identities have been stolen? Right, so if you do that credit rep- uh, credit check and it comes back that the identity is stolen, really only one thing you can do is immediately put a freeze on your child's credit so that way it'll protect, uh, prevent any future theft, but it will take years for you to call the credit card companies and the credit bureaus. The burden is on you to prove that your identity has been stolen and it is a major pain. Yeah. It is infuriating, Jeff Ross, and thank you so much this morning.